New at six during an ever changing pandemic, there is a constant race to weed out faulty personal protective equipment that ends up in our medical system. Earlier this month, KSAT shared info about a scheme that was derailed before local hospitals were sent bad mass. Courtney Friedman spoke with the Texas head, the, excuse me, the head of the Texas Department of Emergency Management about a robust team right here in San Antonio filtering out bad equipment. Last month, nonprofit consumer watchdog ProPublica revealed that a Silicon Valley investor had workers repackaged non-medical KN95 masks to sell to Texas emergency workers. Thankfully, those masks were denied by a San Antonio team with a life-saving job. That's actually caught what we believe to be all of the fraudulent materials that we had bought and received before we had actually distributed them. We turned those around. We didn't pay for those. Uh, it was a very good system in place. Texas Department of Emergency Management Director and former SAFD District Fire Chief Nim Kidd said the process was put in place early on when there was a PPE shortage and items began coming in from overseas. We went to our higher ed, our university systems, and a lot of our private sector partners to be sure that what we were buying was in fact quality masks. The process gets scientific. We do some have some industrial hygienists that work for us. In some cases, we've actually taken masks back to the laboratory and run the same standards of tests that NIOSH and the FDA would use on those materials if they looked suspect to us. So pretty robust process that was put in place. As the pandemic rages on, PPE will continue to come to our region from multiple places. So this team will continue to process it before it's handed out. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News.